historic Golden Gate Bridge is the most photographed bridge in the world. As such, it's been in numerous movies where it has been blown up, destroyed by monsters, and collapsed by earthquakes. But there is one force more powerful than an 8.0 earthquake, more dangerous than the weight of rush hour traffic and more threatening than gale force winds. That force is... Corrosion. When it was finished in 1937, the San Francisco Chronicle referred to the Golden Gate Bridge as a $35 million steel harp. Each tower alone contains 600,000 steel rivets. Let's see what happens when a rivet is exposed to the salty Pacific Ocean fog. This is a replica rivet from the Golden Gate Bridge. I have sanded the bottom of it to demonstrate the power of corrosion. I put it in a salt water bath to simulate the ocean environment. As you can see, it has rusted. What causes this? These are iron atoms. And these are electrons. In an iron structure, the electrons from the iron atoms are moving around all the time. And this makes cases where you end up with a bunch of electrons in one place and none in another. This creates iron and iron 2 plus. The iron 2 plus will then react with any exposed oxygen to form rust. It needs water to complete this reaction, but when you have salt water, this reaction happens a lot faster. Don't confuse the distinct color of the Golden Gate Bridge for rust. It's actually a paint color called International Orange, and it, along with the primer, helps prevent corrosion. Painting the bridge was an ongoing task and a primary maintenance job. In 1965, advancing corrosion sparked the proof to remove all of the original lead paint. The removal continued for about 30 years. The paint was replaced with a zinc-based primer and acrylic top coat. Then, in the mid-1970s, galvanized bolts became available to replace rusting bolts. Galvanized steel is iron with a thin coat of zinc. Why zinc? Well, zinc prevents corrosion. Zinc carbonate forms an impermeable and insoluble layer, but it's not foolproof. Corrosion is inevitable due to the environment where the bridge is located.